Good morning, everybody. We're going to go ahead and get started. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll go ahead and put this up on Google Classroom. And then we'll move on over to Class Dojo. There we go. It's up on Google Classroom. Let's pump this out to Class Dojo now. Okay, that should be everyone. Alrighty, so that's everybody. Let's go ahead and turn that chat on and if you can't see the chat that's okay go ahead and refresh because it is live so if you don't see it again it's all good just hit refresh you should see it soon good morning Ollie Oh, hello, everybody. How are we doing? How's it going? Let's see who I've got. All right. That all my sixth grade math friends are in. So we'll go ahead and mark them off. I've got all of my Mr. Rad friends are in. Alrighty, let's see who we got. <laughs> cool, Jacob. Very cool. Nice, Devin. Alright, let's see who we got. Good morning, Jacob and Devin and Sama. Hello, Hamza and Zalim. Good morning, RC and Aya. Good morning, Micah and Tiana. Good morning, Ashley and Ray. Good morning, Javier. All right. 
right, let's see. I've got Sky and Lexi and Zora. Hello, Shelby and DJ. Hi, Khalees. Sama, you need to complete your work before you play anything, my friend. Work first, then play. Do not play first and then try and get your work done. It's not going to work. Hamza, no caps. It means like that you're screaming at us. You're going, I am present. <laughs> like, we're cool. Oh, there we go. Phew. I got worried there for a second. All right. I've got Ali. Michaela, if you're here, say hi, please. Hi. Believe I saw Nils. Nils, if you're here, say hi. Jenna, Alexa, Josiah, if you guys here, say hi. Guy and Khadija. There's Khadija. Hello, Michaela. There we go. I've got Alexa and Josiah. Thank you, Alexa. I'm looking for Guy and Jenna and Nils. Once I get those three, I've got everybody. We are looking at how fractions and decimals relate to one another. Thank you, Hamza. Much better. I appreciate that. I don't understand Royal High. What do you do? I'd maybe play it if I knew what was I like what I was doing. I looked like people were just like screaming at each other in the chat box. Yes, Sama. So 8.15, we'll get started. 8.15, we'll get started. In Royal High, your goal is to be a princess. Oh, that's fun. It's very cute. That's why I stick with Bee Swarm. Bee Swarm is great. You run around in circles and you collect stuff. It's wonderful. Task completion, collection, Right up my alley. Oh, if only, if only.
There's dances. That's really cute. <laughs> I joined a dancing game once with Aya, Rara, Ashley, and Katrina. And it was like lots of lights and your character could like choose to do all these crazy moves and you could add lights to their fingers. It was funny. Javier, it is so fun. You go, you get a bee, you start with one bee in your hive and you collect pollen and you buy another bee. And there's like 45 different types of bees. I'm like, I have a few more left. So yeah. Right now I'm working on the gifted bees. I'm at the diamond amulet. I've got to get the supreme amulet. I have like nine more bees to go. And then I've got I have two spirit bear quests left. I'm on my second to last one and I'm almost done with it. But it's got like six billion white honey. And it's taking forever in a year. And so once I finish that and then I finish the final one, I get my final spirit petal. And then I can get the windy bee. I want to get the Windy Bee. The Windy Bee looks epic because it can take out a lot of pollen. I will check it out, Devin. Is it on Roblox? Okay. 8.15. 8.15, my friends. Hi, Guy. Good morning. All right. Fun chat off. Academic on. Let's go ahead and move into school talk. If you're ready to go, go ahead and hit O. Okay. And let's roll. No problemo, Guy. Totally fine. I gotcha. When you hear your name, go ahead and type hello in the box. When you hear your name, go ahead and type hello or hi in the chat. Here we go. I've got Zalim, Ali, I've got Aya, Rara, Zora, I've got Aiden, Jacob, Audric, I've got Hamza, Ray, Kira, Shelby, I've got Avery, Kian, Kalis, I've got Lexi, Michaela, Sama, Micah, I've got Nils, Ty, Javier. I've got Faiz, Hanan, Devin, Tiana, Sky, DJ, Jenna. I've got Alexa, Josiah, Kaylee, Guy, Arcy, Ashley, Katrina, and Khadija. Let's go ahead and get started, my friends. All right, here is your to-do list for today. At this point in the morning, remember you could potentially already be done and have that green light and reflex. Many of you have already sent me your picture, so I can confirm that many of you are done, so good job there. Your flip grid is called diving into details. Your task is to generate three questions about your topic to research. So my example is zones of the ocean. So if I was doing a topic right now and I was doing a presentation, I would want to give a topic on the five zones of the ocean. And then my three questions revolve around the topic of the ocean. And so my first one was, what are the different zones of the ocean and what describes them? My second question was, what animals and plants live in these zones? And then my third question was, how does light reflect differently at each of the levels? So everything resolves to my initial topic. So everything's revolving around the ocean zones. So make sure that your topic isn't so crazy broad 
that you are going to struggle coming up with three related items. So like if I'm Khalees and I want to do pigs, I want to make sure that the question I came up with allows me to easily create three questions. Your real DQ, all DQs are three minutes long. You have to minimally talk for three minutes. Anything under three minutes, you start losing points. No worries, Khalees, totally fine. So right now, Jacob, what we're doing is I'm prepping your DQ. I'm going to walk you through so that way I can make sure everyone's on the same pace. So you want to make sure that you are doing the tasks every single day because they are going to be key to setting up your DQs. So at this point, you already have your question developed. And today you're now developing three things to research. All of this is Flipgrid. You're doing your DQs through Flipgrid. All of your DQs are through Flipgrid. So Ashley, Katrina, I'm looking at you. Discovery Quest, it's an oral presentation. We're going to be doing them on Flipgrid. You came up with them, Jacob. So look at what you did yesterday. You came up with it. Okay. Prodigy, you're getting your 20 questions. Remember, this should take you about 30 minutes to get 20 at least. You just have to come up with three questions today. Three questions. Three questions. We're going to get into math. Today we are relating fractions and decimals. We'll be back here at 10.15. But for science, I have a meeting today. Okay, for science, I have a meeting today. So there's no group. Just reading. Give me an okay if that makes sense. So our last one is 10.15 today but you're reading the book. Thank you. So you're reading the book today. You are reading the book today. And then your read aloud will be up after this. I will record it and put it up. You'll have about seven chapters to listen to. Yes, Salim, you are reading alone. And then on Friday, we will go over it and do everything. Okay? Any questions for this before we get into your table of contents and your objective for today? We're going to do a movie night. So we'll do a movie night where we go on Zoom and I will stream it and we'll all watch it. Cool. So I've got two questions. Hamza, what's your question so that we can get started, my friend? C. Tres minutos. I'll talk to your mom, Guy. We can work something out. Hi, Jenna. Hi. 
Hamza, what's your question? Okay, I'm going to get started. Let's go ahead and go over to your table of contents. Let's go ahead and go to your table of contents. So here's where you should be within your table of contents. Here's where you should be within your table of contents. Hamza, you do not. Okay, let's go ahead and do our table of contents. So today is day two. You're going to be doing relating decimals to fractions, and mine's going on 17. Okay, when you are ready. Give me an okay when you are ready. Thank you, Ray, Ali, Ashley, Aya Sky Sama, thank you. Tiana, Alexa, Alexis, Lexi, Hamza, thank you. Alrighty, I'm going to put paper in. It didn't go. Give me paper. Yay. Alrighty, so up at the top, you've got day two relating. decimals into fractions and then you've got nine what is today the 23rd I believe it's 23rd Yeah, if you wanted to print, there is stuff that you can print. It's up to you, though. You do not have to. Your objective for today is today we will learn how to convert decimals into fractions and back again. Give me a text emoji when you have written down the objective. Give me a text emoji when you have written down the objective. Thank you. Okay. So if you're writing and don't have the ability to print, that's fine. I'm going to write everything down. So we're going to have decimals into 
and fractions both name part of a whole. So decimals and fractions both name part of a whole. So for example, let's say I have a piece of cake and I split it into four strips. That is one whole cake. Mrs. Young is hungry and loves cake and eats one part. I can write that I've eaten one fourth of the cake was eaten. Part of the whole cake was eaten. But I can relate that fraction as a decimal too. I can take that one-fourth and call it 25 hundredths. They're both the same number. Decimals and fractions relate to one another. So decimals and fractions can be used to represent the same number. Give me a text emoji when you have written up to this point or if you have a question. Oh no, it's a C. I have weird cursive handwriting because I went to a school for like ever that required us to do cursive and then I got into high school and they didn't require it anymore so I have a weird like cursive printing hybrid handwriting so that's why it always looks like a hot mess sometimes as I start going into cursive and then I realize oh yeah we don't teach cursive anymore so a bunch of you can't read it <laughs> so remember that part of the challenge of distance learning is taking control of your own learning. This means that in order for you to get the most out of your time with me, you need to be asking questions and participating. Well, that's fun. I'm glad someone's teacher's still doing it. Alrighty, so. Decimals can be written as fractions
So if I have 0 and 3 tenths, I would write that as 3 tenths. So first, identify the number, that's your numerator, and then identify the place value. That's your denominator. So if I have 0 and 45 hundredths, what digit is in 0 and 45 hundredths? If 0 and 3 hundredths, had a digit of 3, what digit is in 0 and 45 hundredths? So if the digit 0 and 3 hundredths, the digit was 3 and 45 hundredths, what are the digits? Hint, hint, there are two. Good job, Aya. So very nice, everybody. Yes, yes, yes. So 45. Now identify the place value. What is the name of the place value that the last digit is sitting in? Yes! Good job! Well done! Good job, everybody. So yes, hundredths. Well done. And then fractions. Can be. Written as. decimals. So let's say I've got 6 over 10 equals 0 and 6 tenths. So here the numerator is the number written, and the denominator is the place value Oops, I need more paper. Give me more paper. Here we go. is the place value where the last digit sits. So 
So if I've got 18 hundredths, what would that be as a decimal? If I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, Ah, very good question. So if I have 6 over 6, DJ, that just equals 1. Or 1 and no place values because you have a whole number represented. No, this one's uh, Micah's question. Or uh, DJ's questions. Okay. So essentially, if you've got 10 over 10, any time the numerator and denominator match or are the same, It equals 1 or 1 whole. This part I would write down. Correct, Alexa. I mean, you could even be so bold as to say, like, So, like, as long as your numerator matches your denominator, the answer is going to be 1. So, if there are 1,564,856,416 fleas and we kill 1,564,856,416 fleas, right, we've killed all of them. We've killed the whole lot. Yes, Javier, very good. 12 over 12 is 1. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, so this is the table that many of you have. Yes, Zora, it would, because you've got the whole number, and we're going to get into that right now, actually. So, yeah. So, let's say I've got 0 and 238. What's the fraction? If I have 0 and 238, what's the fraction? So, I have 0 and 238 thousandths. What's the fraction? 0 and 238 thousandths. What's the fraction? If I have 238 thousandths, what's the fraction? Okay. 
Good job, Ali. Thousandths, yes. 238 thousandths. The way that I remember it is that the number in the decimals, the place value is always one digit more. So 238, 100, right? 238, 238, yeah? At another place value, and that's the place value. 238, another place value would be thousandths. Very good, yes. 200. 38 over 1,000. Very good. Let's go in reverse. Let's do 25 hundredths. What is that as a decimal? 25 hundredths, what's that as a decimal? 25 hundredths, what is that as a decimal? Ooh, Ali, quick to the draw, sir. Who else has it? Zalim, very good. Who else has it? Sky, very good. Shelby, very good. Khalees, Michaela, excellent. Yes, it's going to be zero and 25. Now, Review from last year. This is review from last year. If I have three and six tenths, three and six tenths, what's the fraction? Three and six tenths, what is the fraction? Three and six tenths, what is the fraction? Three and six tenths, what is the fraction? Good job, Zora. 3 and 6 tenths, what is the fraction? 3 and 6 tenths, what is the fraction? Haha, -ha, Alexa, very good, noticing the pattern. Put a space between it, Aya, and you'll have it. So you need a space. So yes, this is going to be 3 and 6 over 10. In the chat box, the way that you kind of show this is you want to add a space. So 3, give me a space. So just give me a space in between it. So put a little star, any number to the left of the dot is a whole number and therefore gets bigger. See, Ray, I'm telling you, you're going to do awesome this year, my friend. So go backwards now. Let's say I've got 12 and 14 hundredths. Let's say I've got 12 and 14 hundredths. 12 and 14 hundredths as a decimal would be what? 12 and 14 hundredths as a decimal would be what? Ollie, you're missing the decimal. Uh, Aya, you stuck the four in the thousandths place. Shall be good. Ollie, you're missing my decimal. Sky, you stuck the 14 all the way in the thousandths place. Khalees, good. Jacob, good. Aya, there you go. Ray, you don't need the THS, just 12 and 14 thousandths. You just have to say it. It's fine. Uh, Ollie, you're missing a one now. Khadijah, very good. So 12 and 14 hundredths. Last digit is in the hundredths place. 
The last digit is in the hundredths place. 12 is your whole number. Goes to the left of the decimal. Okay, let's do some more problems. Okay, let's look here. Write this first one as a Convert the picture to a fraction and a decimal. Convert the picture into a fraction and a decimal. Convert the picture into a fraction and a decimal. Aya right there. Yay! So you've got three tenths, and then your decimal would be zero holes and three tenths. So that's the decimal. There you go, Javier. Yes, three tenths. Correct, because it's not a whole number, so it would be three tenths. Good. Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, do this one. Show the picture as a fraction and a decimal. If there is no whole number, there should not be a number to the left of the decimal. It should be a zero. Hamza, you have two different numbers. Nine hundredths cannot have the nine in the tenths place. That's like saying that nine pennies is the same as nine dimes. So yeah, I've got nine hundredths. Each cube or each unit is a hundredth. And there's a total of 100. So now, write it as a fraction. There you go, Ray. 0 and 0, 9. 0 and 9 hundredths. The 9 must sit in the hundredths place. Okay, next one.
Let's make this a little bit different, shall we? So let's make that just a touch different. You're welcome. What's the fraction? What's the decimal? What's the fraction? What's the decimal? Good job, Zaleem. Good job, Ray. Good job, Michaela. Ali, count again. There you go. Yes, so we've got four tenths or four tenths. Okay, next one. Write the decimal, write the fraction. Write the decimal, write the fraction. Write the decimal, write the fraction. Yes! Hamza, ask your question. <laughs> Saying you have a question over and over again. I get you. I saw you. I saw you and I typed it. Tell me your question. <laughs> so yes, you got 55 over 100. Good job, Michaela. 55 hundredths. Last digit is in that hundredths place. Careful with your zeros, zero, 55. If you're gonna add the extra zero, that extra zero pushes the five to the thousands place. Okay, next one. Last one. Uh-oh. What are you going to do now? Uh-oh. What are we going to do now? Uh-oh. What are we going to do now? How do we show this as a fraction? How do we show it as a decimal? Oh, look at Alexa for the win. Not even blinking. Look at Alexa for the win, not even blinking. I love it. So we've got one and five tenths, very good. Now as a decimal. Careful, Javier. You just went from one dollar to fifteen dollars. We cannot make a dollar multiply like that. As awesome as it would be. So one and five tenths. Here's your whole number. Mm 
there's your tenths place. Okay? Let's take a look at your work. Your work is three pages to our drag and drop. One is matching with arrows. So all you'll do is try and figure out where things go. So like five tenths, you would drag to five tenths. I'd find the decimal equivalent and put it there. Make sense? Matching. This is your arrows. There are arrows on the side. Use the arrows on the side. We do not say something is easy in this class ever. We say it is fun. So all you do is take your arrow, drag it. Okay, three tenths. Where's three tenths? Three tenths is here. So drag and drop your arrows. Drag, drop, move your arrows. Okay, this one's drag and drop too, but using mixed numbers and decimals with both whole and decimal values. Any questions? Very fun. Math is fun. Always fun, not easy. All right, let's review one more time. So when you're done, you have other things that you would work on. Remember, this is setting up your DQ, not Dairy Queen. You're not going to get Dairy Queen. It is setting up your discovery quest. Always fun, never easy. If something is simple, it means that you've gotten to a point where it is super fun. All right. Give me a text emoji if you are done, and I will see you at 10.15. Yes, I'm going to stretch. Uh, ah. I will see you at 10, 15. I will see you at 10, 15. I will see you at 10, 15. All right, I'm going to go ahead and turn the chat off. And I'll see you at 10, 15. Bye, everybody. See you at 1015.